Priceline is a provider of travel and restaurant reservations. It owns Booking.com, Priceline.com, Agoda.com, RentalCars.com, and OpenTable.com. In <laughs> fact, everything.com. Market cap, $96.6 billion. Mm -hmm. P.E. ratio, 43.3. Pays no dividend. So again, this is one perhaps that South Africans aren't quite as familiar with as people in the United States. Although Booking.com has rapidly become the go-to website if you're planning a trip because that's where all of the hotels and all of the other sort of it's a, it's restaurants and so on are available. It's a fantastic site. Ranked beautifully. And basically offers you up discounts, you get uh, comparisons between hotels. Yeah. You can sort by various criteria, you can do a filtering by the map or by you know, price point or location or whatever. I have Brilliant. to say that's my experience with Priceline is only at the booking.com. I haven't explored any Priceline. of the Priceline.com, Price that website is more about discount travel. You know, in the United States, of course, getting a cheap air flight is like a national part time and pastime. And that's one of the ways to get that access. They bought kayak and a few other s comparative engines. Chris, your thoughts on this one? I think it's a very crowded space, uh, Bronwyn. Um, the one that South Africans are probably more familiar with, with is the one on TV where you get that woman with the nauseating um, Australian accent, Travago. And, um, <laughs> you know, you, you, you hear this, and, and that is quite popular as well. But there's so many of these things. And, and that concerns me. Uh, coming back to what I said at the beginning, if, you've only, if you're a single-dimensional company, which I think this is, then I think you're going to be vulnerable at, at some point in time. Google, for example, has made forays into this in the mm. past. And I think at some point in time, maybe they'll... They'll be buy eaten it up. out. They'll be eaten up yes. by one of the, the big, big Booking things. Booking.com and Priceline is a huge advertiser in Google. So if you go in and search, you know, New York City Hotel, right, a lot of the stuff that you're going to see is kind of come to you from Booking.com or bump bounce you into Booking.com. And that's because Booking.com spends a ton of money advertising and achieving those results inside of the Google search engine. Let's have a look at the share price graph here. I it looks the same. Has there you go. Up? That kind of pattern you will be familiar with starts at the bottom left and proceeds ever upwards and higher. It's an interesting one insofar as it's got a very high share price. Really you go, like $1,800. But perhaps per share. Uh, Chris has hit the nail on the head here and that this one is really a target for a buyout given its con concentrated focus. Yeah. One Look, dimensional There are a couple aspect. of other competitors other than Travago, which he hasn't mentioned. Expedia. Expedia, although Expedia is more like an entry point into travel and air travel in particular. TripAdvisor is the other one, right, which is much smaller, but which has got a similar focus right in the same niche. And then I guess you could say Airbnb is sort of a competitor because, you know, if you're looking for uh, accommodation when you travel, maybe you'll go to Airbnb instead. But of course, that's privately owned. And that's shifting from the hotel centric focus to, as you say, privately, privately owned, owned residential properties. properties. Yeah. But look. We know that one of the ways the world is changing is that people have got more leisure time, they've got more money, and according to some people, the computers are going to take over all of our jobs, then we'll all have infinite leisure, free time, and basic in, you know, universal income or something. On At that which point, note, everybody's going to travel. Everyone's going to travel. Is I it think hot? so. I think it's a must have as well. And I think it's big enough in its chosen vertical to be the survivor. I agree with Chris, you, you've got to be careful that you don't get overwhelmed by Facebook or Google, but in this case, I think Priceline holds its own. Well, Paul thinks it's got a big enough moat to hold its position. Chris, you don't. Look, I, 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 and with similar, uh, I think, sentiments to, to Facebook, um, I, I like the concept, but I think it's an overcrowded space, and I think in the not too distant future, companies like this will, will, will probably struggle. So not hot? Not hot. You're, no. are you definitely hot, just double checking. Hot on that one, yep. <laughs>